guys and welcome back to my channel and today's video today i'm going to do a video that is passed over do i have talked about this that i'm going to do my hair video or my hair journey where i'm going to talk about some hair thingies <laughs> that i have said that i'm going to do for a very long time because you guys have been asking me uh also it's raining like crazy right here so if you do hear something in the background it's that and i'm really sorry about that um secondly um, this might be a long video. This might be a, it's a hard video for me to do because there's a lot to cover, but I will try my best. Uh, so yeah, if you are interested in the curly girl method, my hair, my hair journey, it's definitely not done. But if you are, then just keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe if you're not. Duh. This is a video that I have been working on for a long long time This is a hard video for me to do because as I said, it's a lot to cover But the first thing I'm going to talk about is my background from when I was younger But I will talk about my hair journey like my hair how it was when I was growing up and then how it is with so I'm gonna show you guys some pictures as well um, I'm gonna talk about the curly girl method. I'm gonna talk about what products I use some tips that I have and Some stuff that I've learned just so I am not a Hairstylist I feel the need to say that some people do get very very Offended when you do hair videos and you're not a hairstylist I don't get that because you can do makeup videos without being a makeup artist like I don't know But I've said this before but I feel that it's my hair and I know it best So yes, but anyway, I'm just gonna start the video So when I grew up I had curly hair, but I didn't have a lot of curly hair like I had some curls here and there But mostly my hair was straight until the point when I where I was maybe like 8 or 10 or something Then my hair started to become a bit curly and then um, My hair just exploded. I got really curly hair when I was growing up people were very passive-aggressive towards me People could say like oh my god Paulina you have the dream hair your hair is so beautiful and yada 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 But at the same time they would mock me because I had a frizz I could have stuff that was um once one of my friends found a gum in my hair I never brushed my hair because you guys know you know I've talked about this before but I look like fucking Hagrid if I brush my hair so I cannot brush my hair it's just I don't do that so people were very passive aggressive towards me and I had this thick and long hair it was always very flat right here it was always very flat because i never had volume but i have one volu volume right here and the longer my hair got the longer my curls got but if i cut my hair i my curls were like this not afro not but you know hopefully you know what i mean i started anyway straighten it and then i started to uh bleach it and I have dyed my hair a lot for the past 10 years and I have used so much heat on my hair Usually what I used to do was that I worked out five times a week Usually like in the past not always like I had moments like I had six months where I Worked out for every day or five days a week and then I had moments where I didn't work out at all for a year So so don't get me wrong. I was not a workout freak, but I was it in periods of my life and usually what I did was that each and every single time after I had showered, I blow dried my hair, I straightened my hair, and this was at night time. So when I woke up the next day, my hair would be so much easier for me to straighten in the morning. I could just do a piece here and there. So I straightened my hair all the time and I used a lot of heat on my hair. It was not in a good condition and you could just see that my hair was just kind of shrinking. I did cut my hair when I started to bleach my hair just because of the fact that so many people said that I had too long hair and yada 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 and I was very insecure so I cut my hair and I cut it to maybe this length and it was the shortest I have had ever gotten and I did not like it so obviously I bought extensions and I use clipping extensions all the time so two years ago I found the curly girl method I had still blonde hair but I did not color my hair all the time like usually before I wanted to have the blondest hair you could get and I didn't know that you can only bleach your hair 
so much. I thought that my hair was a little bit yellow, then I bleached it instead of toning it or going in with a silver shampoo or something along those lines. No, I bleached it. I bleached it and bleached it and bleached it. Every time I needed to color my hair growth, I bleached my hair. So you can imagine how my hair looked and you can imagine how heat damaged it was and how, how damaged it was, I mean. Uh, anyway, two years ago or something along those lines, maybe even three years ago, I found out about Curly Girl Method or No Poo Method. I don't really know what the, the um, difference is between No Poo and Curly Girl Method, but I will explain to you guys a little bit what I do. I found out about this, so I stopped using shampoo. I stopped using, using sh like shit on my hair. I tried to not straighten it, but I did go ahead and straighten it all the time. And my hair was really long. Like my hair was at the longest since I cut it to this point so I was really happy about that and I was like I was mind blown I was so happy about that and I, I you know it worked and then I don't know why but I stopped like I did this for probably a year or something and then I stopped because I think this was when I I don't know why I stopped to be honest I don't remember and then I started to color it again I became a redhead I got like extensions I have had tape and extensions I have had keratin extensions I have glued in my uh, extensions I have done all of it except for maybe sewing or s sewing the extensions like in my hair that's the only thing I haven't done and I always did it by myself like I'm not a professional but I did it by myself I did do my own hair because I don't want anyone else to touch my hair and I have not been to a hairdresser in 10 years I think I think that was all that I wanted to say about my like hair journey uh, I got to the point last year in November or December that I just didn't want to I didn't want to harm my hair anymore one thing I love to watch on YouTube is curly girls like I love to watch their washing routine. I love to watch their hairstyle. I love to watch their hair. All of these, like the, I think the curly hair is so beautiful. It doesn't matter if you just have a wave in your hair or if you have, you know, a big afro. I just love to watch curly hair. I don't know what it is about it, but I love it. And to see those perfect curls, that what's kind of made me like, you know what? I want my curls back. I want my hair to look as bomb as their, do, their hair does. So I just said, you know what? F it. I'm going to stop. I'm not going to use any heat on my hair. I'm, I'm not going to straighten it. I'm not going to color it. Well, I did say that I am going to color it to this color or, you know, I said that I was going to color it dark because when my roots had grown out too much, the blonde just didn't look good with my roots anymore. So I just went ahead and colored everything to the same style. Now it isn't the same color, but you know what I mean. So I haven't used heat. I probably have used heat once or twice, but it has always been with a curling iron to kind of fix a curl here and there. Now I don't do that anymore because I just don't want to. Like if my hair looks like shit, then it's gonna look like shit. I'm, I can put it up in a ponytail or whatnot. So what happened was that I started to straighten my hair during the night. I had different hairstyles that would make my hair straight. So that is why you can see that I had straight hair in November and December as well. But then I was just like, you know what? I'm not gonna do this anymore. I am gonna rock my curls. I'm gonna try and make it curly. I am going to try to love my curls. I don't love my hair today. I hate my hair today. Like I don't hate it, but I don't think that it's cute just because of the fact that I have two different hair textures. So now I'm going to talk about the fact that I mentioned for a couple of times that I am transitioning and I'm just going to mention what that means. So I'm sorry if the setting changed a bit, but I had to change the battery on my camera. So yeah. <clears throat> anyway, we're talking about transitioning and what that means. You know what? I'm going to show you guys this picture from and I'm also going to leave her in my description box. Her name is Mia Marie. Mia Marie. And she has a video that is called My Transitioning Hair. But I think that she had relaxed her hair, which means that her hair was straight. And when her hair grew, grew out, you could see all of these curls. In this picture, you can definitely see that she has two different hair types. So you can see that one 
the the upper hair like from the roots and down to probably the shoulders almost is <clears throat> curly and then <clears throat> we have the long hair that is relaxed so you can definitely definitely see what i mean when i'm saying that my hair is definitely not the same like my hair isn't the same texture as her is and i don't have the same curl pattern as she does so i don't need to cut my hair yet but the thing is that a lot of people do a big chop wait let me just talk <laughs> i cannot oh it's so frustrating anyway the thing is with transitioning hair is that since this hair, for instance, my long ends right here, you can see that they are not curly at all. They are just straight. Do I need to cut them to the way to the point where where they have split ends? No, but I do need to cut them off because I will never get curls in this again because by me using so much heat and so much bleach on my hair, I have definitely ruined the curl pattern, which means that this can only get wavy. As you can see, it has a little, 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 little wave right here, but it's not a lot. It's not going to get curly again. So a lot of the time what people do is that they have a hard time dealing with that they have two different textures. So what you can do is twist outs and stuff like that. We have a bunch of different hairstyles that you can do. I have personally never done them just because of the fact that I don't feel that I need to. I don't feel that my hair looks that bad just because of the fact that my hair isn't as curly as their are. As you can see, my bangs is a lot shorter. I actually cut my bangs just because I wanted to see if they could get some curls back. Um, you can see that like, I do get curls in them, but I don't get curls as the ones that I used to have growing up. You can see that I have curls in the back of my head and that they are starting to appear, but I do need to wait maybe a year or so before my curls are starting to come back. Um, by the way, the footage that you do see at the moment has some shit in it. I do make my own flaxseed gel that I have showed you guys on Instagram, and I am planning on doing a video on that. I have recorded a video on that, so it will come in a separate video. If it's already up, I will leave it in the cards, and if it's not, it's coming. Anyway, the thing is that I used, I did boil this a little bit too much, so some product I, I did get some product build up as you can see right here and I'm trying to just get rid of it trying to get it out of my head just so you guys know that that is what happened if you're wondering if I'm having dandruff or something no I do not so a lot of the times people do big chops I am not planning on doing a big chop just so you guys know now talking about the curly girl method or the no poo method I do, I'm not sure we have three products that we're not allowed to use on our hair so the first one is sulfates Sulfates is the one ingredients or the one it's a lot of ingredients in shampoo But that's the product that breaks our hair just because Sulfates is also in products just as your laundry detergent or your uh, Washing liquid soap or you know your dish soap So you can understand how rough it is it just removes all of the natural oils from your hair. It makes it so bad and then the other part part that we cannot use is silicones silicones is just as you hear silicone is just silicone it adds a slip to your hair it makes your hair look and feel beautiful and healthy but it's not the thing is that the sulfate removes all of your natural oils it cleanses it it just removes everything and you're you're left with damaged hair now if you are using a conditioner that is containing silicone you will it will feel like your hair is very healthy but as i said it's not um the other thing that you cannot use is mineral oils and mineral oils i'm not that well read about but i do know that you cannot use it because it kind of can lay like a almost like a shield of some sort on your scalp so your hair will have a problem like growing out of some sort um so that's the three products that you cannot use and definitely you need to be or you need to try and avoid alcohol of some and so so on alcohol is approved to use in the curly girl method but as you could 
assume alcohol is just not that great for your hair and the thing is also that with curly hair we have for instance if you have a girl that has flat hair when she gets oils because we all get oils in our scalp like we get the natural oils when they start to go down to your ends and your mid shaft it's very easy for them because it's just they just need to like go up and down do you know what i mean it's so easy for them to just slip with the hair but with curly girl the oil can have a problem going down with the curl if that makes any sense so that's why we always say like curly hair is always super dry like curly girl curly girl curly hair needs more moisture than someone that has straight hair and that is because the natural oils have a harder time getting towards the ends. So I'm just going to mention really quick what I do when I'm going into the shower. If this is your first time and you want to try out the Curly Girl method, you need to find a conditioner or I mean you need to find a shampoo that is called like the last shampoo. And this contains a lot of sulfates, but it doesn't contain any silicone or anything else. And what this does is that it cleanses your hair, it removes all of the silicone and all, the, all of the buildup that you do have in your hair. And then you are left with your hair and its normal state. This can be a lot, very, very scary for some people because I remember the first time I cleansed my hair with the last shampoo, I was about to cry. Like my hair was so dry, it was so bad. It was so, so bad. I did do a deep conditioning mask and I did use a conditioner afterwards, but it was still so bad. Like honestly, my hair was in so bad condition. Now this hair that I do have, the stuff that I have in my hair is like, it's my hair and I don't have any silicones or anything in it. So it's nothing that adds slip to my hair. It's not fake. Do you know what I mean? So the next time when you're going to shower, I'm going to mention what I always do. I'm going to get the product and I'm going to show you every step of the way. So I did go ahead and fetch all of the products that I do use. So I'm just going to show you. I try to keep it as natural and as simple as I can with my products. I don't, I don't use a lot of shit. Like I use the stuff that I do like and I I try to do the same routine over and over again. So the products that I do use for my hair is repurchases like forever. And I do cleanse my hair once a week. I did have to train my hair because in the beginning my hair was a lot greasier. Now I just cleanse my hair, you know, once in a while. Like I cleansed my hair yesterday just because of the fact that my hair smelled very bad because I had been outside in a fire. I've been sitting out all day. And yeah, my hair just smelled like a bonfire. So I, that's why I cleansed it. So what I always do before I go in the shower, and this is something that I always, 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 always do. I go in with, this is castor oil, and I go and place this in my scalp. Um, this is, by the way, it's very, very greasy. So I'm just gonna put it right here. People claims that it's good for hair growth. I don't know. I can't say if it works or not. Have I seen any progress with my hair? Definitely, but I think that it is because that when you when you cleanse your hair with conditioner, you rub and you like keep blood coming to your scalp and that makes the hair grow faster. That's what I think anyway. But I don't know. It might be the castor oil or not. I use it just because of the fact that sometimes I can get a little bit sensitive in my scalp. So that's why I use it. And also because I'm hoping that I will get some hair growth. I do use different stuff in my hair. Like, as I said, this is only the products that I use in my scalp. But when I'm... Most of the times I do use a deep conditioning mask that I do by myself. So most of the times I do use um, coconut oil. This is organic and cold pressed virgin coconut oil. It's very important that it is cold pressed. If it's not, then it's not going to work the same. Um, I don't really know how it is, but all of the good things that's that a coconut oil does kind of disappears if it's not cold pressed that goes with any oil i only purchase cold pressed oils and this is just regular only cold pressed castor oil as well so that's what i do i do use sometimes i go in if my i feel like my hair needs a little bit of more protein i'll go in with a mix of an egg or a 
uh, something along the lines that has protein in it or yogurt you can use or whatnot. And then I cleanse my hair with this conditioner. But a lot of people feel, no, you know what? I put this hat on, I do have it in my lap. I'm not gonna put it on because it is a little bit greasy in the sides, but what I do is that I put this hat on and I put this in a microwave. It is very beneficial if you wanna use hot oils. For some reason, I don't really know what it is. So I put it on and I have it on for 30 minutes, an hour or something, and then I go ahead and cleanse it. And I cleanse my hair with this one, but a lot of people feel like castor oil and coconut oil is very hard to get out of your hair, and it is. So that's why I take a lot of this and I take it in my hair when it's dry. So before I go into the shower and I put water in my head, I go in with this one and I cleanse it all, like I'm very thorough, very, very thorough. And then I go in, I cleanse my hair, or I rinse my hair, I mean, and then I go in with this again. So I do use it two times just to be extra sure because I don't want to have like a greasy head. It's, it's, it's not great. I did get this sent to me. This is a deep conditioning from Jessie Curl. I do like this one. It's very, very nice. And you can see that I have used this. There is some times when I don't want to, when I just want my washing routine to be fast. So when I don't feel like I want to use castor oil and coconut oil, that's when I go in with a deep conditioner. And that's what I use. I don't, as I said, I don't use it a lot. But when I do, I that's the one I use, but I don't repurchase it. Like I try to buy as cheap and good product as I can just because of the fact that I use so much of it. So I don't, I hate spending money on it. That's just the way I am. Um, and then I do have the Faith in Nature Watermelon uh, Conditioner. I have had the jojoba oil and I have had the aloe vera one, but the watermelon one is the one that I love the most. Uh, th this one contains aloe vera and uh, yogurt, so this contains protein and hydration, and this is just hydration, I think. I'm not really sure. So the minute I get out of the shower, I use my aloe vera gel or a lubricant. I've talked about this a lot, but I do use a water-based lubricant or a aloe vera gel. I buy the one that is on sale or the one that is the cheapest at when I'm purchasing, <laughs> so that's the only thing. I think that they work the same. Uh, this adds hydration. Aloe vera gel and um, lubricant, water-based lubricant, is the only thing that I have found that uh, hydrates the hair. If you go in with an oil that's fat, that's not hydration, a lot of people mix it up, but that's the way it is. And then I lock it in with a non-penetrating oil. A penetrating oil is uh, coconut oil. That penetrates the hair. For instance, almond oil doesn't. A more popular oil is argan oil or jojoba oil that you can use. They are better towards the hair, but I use this because I'm so cheap. Like, honestly, I'm so cheap. So I use my almond oil and it works great. Right after that, I go in with this one. This is a product that I do for myself. This is the product that I talked about before. I will have a video on it, how I do it. So if you are interested in it, in knowing that it's coming. This is the consistency of a egg white or a snot, or I saw a Maggie Soros said that it looked like sperm. So yeah, if you use your imagination then. <laughs> so what I do with it is that I put a lot in my hair. Like if you think that you have taken too much, take more. That's my, my saying. Like if you think that you have taken too much, take more. And then I scrunch my hair. My hair is still wet and I scrunch my hair. When your hair starts to dry, it will be hard. So the next day I scrunch it out. Like I scrunch it and the, the hair isn't hard anymore. A thing that is very important and that you have heard all over the place is that you should not use a regular towel because if you do, you will get a lot of frizz. But I use a micro foul, micro yada yada towel. It looks like this. So what I do is that I just put this on, I twist it, no I don't, I don't do it like this. I do it the opposite. I do like this, but I have it upside down and then I twist it and then I put it here. You know, is, does this make any sense? Hopefully it does. I try to be as informative as I can and I try to be as fast as I can. Let's see, which else products do I use? Yes, sometimes I do need to hydrate my hair because it gets dry. Like if you only cleanse your hair once a week or less, 
your hair will get dry. So sometimes I do wash and goes, which means that I uh, just wet my hair in the shower and then I go in with just condition conditioner in my ends especially now during the summer because my hair can get super duper dry. So I just go in with conditioner in my ends and then I just rinse it out. That is just a wash and go. And then I do the same process as I with the aloe vera gel and the other products that I use as I would have if I cleansed it. Another thing I do have is this one. I bought this actually this month, uh, but I have had other bottles. But this is just an empty bottle that I put in with some water and then I put in some of my conditioner so this is just water and my conditioner i just do like this and then i spray my hair i just sprayed it before uh because i want it sometimes you know your curls doesn't really look as good as you want them to or sometimes when you wake up your you have one curl that just stands like this or a curl that like stands like this and you're like i can't go around looking like this so that's when i go in and spray it and i feel that it works i have also done my own dry shampoo because if you are on the curling girl method not everything is allowed and also the products that are allowed are filled with alcohol which dries out your scalp and it's not a great thing because then your hair will or your head will start to create more oils so i have my <laughs> or my dry shampoo in this is a salt shaker this is also, I think that my boyfriend got this from his mom or something. If you remember a while back, I talked that he we have some really ugly mugs. This is a really ugly salt shaker, but it works. So you can see it comes out some product. I The last time I did it, I don't have a uh, video on when I do this because the last time I did it, uh, this will last me for uh, probably like two years. I did way, way, way too much. Like honestly, I did not need to do this. But I do have, this is just some products that you will probably already have in your home. You can use uh, only uh, cacao. Do you say that? Cacao. It's so weird to say that in English, cacao. But I am not the one that came up with this recipe. Um, I don't, I am not the one that came up with came up with this recipe either but this one I got in a Facebook group so I cannot give credit but where I found my dry shampoo is from Alexandra's girly talk and I will leave the video uh in my description box just so you can go ahead and check it out if you want to do it yourself I just used like potato flour and then I use uh cacao, cacao cacao and then I use some drops of like rose oil or something I don't remember, I have some, I don't remember which one it is. And then just some cinnamon. If you are a blonde, you don't need to add the cacao, you can just add something else. Like, no, you don't need to add anything else, I mean, you can just stop there. But as I said, the, the recipe will be in my description box and the recipe or and the video where Alexandria's Girl Talk talks about it will also be in my description box. That's basically like the only products that I use. I have some other products that I'm trying out as such. I do have one, product like if you are disgusted because i know that some people will be disgusted by this recipe then i do have a product that works almost the same it's the jesse curls rocking ringles i will put a picture on it right here i have it in my bathroom i use it when i'm lazy and i don't i don't have i haven't made that product but i will put a picture on it right here just so if you are interested in it and you don't want to do it yourself because i know that some people can be a little bit disgusted by it and i, I definitely understand then you can check out this picture and purchase it. I think actually that is all that I needed to mention in this video. I don't feel that it, there is anything else. I did say some tips and tricks. This is something that everyone says, but avoid heat, if, avoid dyeing your hair, avoid products with alcohol in them. Like I know that everyone talks about parabens and sulfates and yada, 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 but that's always like a must for me but avoid products with a lot of alcohol in it watch a lot of youtube tutorials like a lot of people that are transitioning or you know whatever your goal is with your hair watch a lot of them i have learned so much and don't be afraid of oils oils is a bay oils is the best that you can get sometimes I don't want to use coconut oil, so I use olive oil instead. I use a lot of oils. I use jojoba oil, I use argan oil, I use olive oil, I use coconut oil, I use uh, almond oil, I probably said that, but oils is bay. And also don't be afraid of the no poo method. If you don't want to use uh, conditioner to, to cleanse your hair, 
hair, hair, your hair, you don't have to. You can buy what I don't know the English word for it, but the Swedish word is SLS Frit shampoo, which is a shampoo that doesn't contain sulfates, some other products. I know that um, is they call, are they called like Dr. Organic or something? Dr. Organic have some that you can use. I have used them, but I prefer actually to cleanse my hair with conditioner because I feel that it's more uh, hydrating. A lot, of pe a lot of girls and men that have curly hair swears by the curly girl method just because it makes your curls be more defined. It makes your curls be more uh, less frizzy. So I do recommend it's uh, and that's why it's called like the curly girl method But definitely if you have straight hair you can use it or you can do it as well Definitely try it like if you want some tips and tricks or if it just doesn't work for you Look out Facebook groups like there's a lot of Facebook groups out there There's one that I'm in like the curly girl method in English that everyone is in. I'm also in that one I learn a lot, but definitely message me if you have any questions or just leave them down below I always answer my comments. I hope that I Made sense and that you find found this interesting um, Let me see geez. Uh, will you go to kiss her? Oh, it's gonna go to rain it. Yeah, but definitely message me if you have if you have any questions. I will leave them down below, and I hope that this video was very informative and good. I'm gonna walk my dog right now, but I will see you guys tomorrow. Like this video if you liked it, and uh, subscribe if you're not. Bye! Say hello! Hello!